Hi, I'm John McGuire, founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute. Thank you for tuning into this video. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new content. And go to kinesiologyinstitute.com to learn more about applied kinesiology. Now this ileocecal valve is so important. It's also known as the ICV. This is the valve that's the trapdoor between the small and large intestine. And what happens is when we, the food gets fully digested and broken down in the small intestine, it's time to open the door, kind of think of the kitchen area of the body. We open the door and it goes into the garbage dumpster area of the body, which is the large intestine to be carried out from the body. However, what often happens is that door gets stuck open and garbage is seeping back into the small intestine where it gets reabsorbed into the blood. And guess what you feel like? Caca. <laughs> so we want to make sure that that bad bacteria isn't getting back into the small intestine. This is a very common condition in open ileocecal valve. Now it's not as common, but you can have a closed valve. But the valve's purpose, and uh, you'll see, is that uh, it stops the small intestine contents from passing into the large intestine before the digestive processes are complete. And then it acts as a barrier to prevent the return of the bacterial laden matter from the large intestine going back into the small intestine where it would be toxic to the body. It particularly be through the portal circulation, the blood goes from the, the colon, both small and large intestine to the liver. So the liver often gets toxic. And a lot of us are dealing with this, this is major toxicity. And that's what uh, the people in the program um, at the Tony Robbins event I'm going to be speaking at on Friday, they're working on a cleanse. So this is a way to uh, help the cleanse is to make sure the valve is functioning properly. So we want the small intestine to ideally have very little bacteria. So one of two things happen. And what happens is that um, there's nausea. Um, well, when the valve um, is stuck closed and it doesn't remain open, then, or when the valve doesn't close and it remains open, then the garbage goes back into the small intestine, as I mentioned, and then it disrupts the small intestine ecology and function. Now, conversely, the, in, the ICV could get stuck closed and all the stuff in the small intestine putrefies, not able to get out into the waste area, the garbage dump, and then the bloodstream again becomes toxic, making then the lymph also toxic. So you got a myriad of symptoms here can occur, um, such as um, headaches, nausea, diarrhea or constipation, low back pain, stiff neck, allergies, general aches, skin problems, and a myriad of other conditions. So we're going to show you how to muscle test the ileocecal valve. What you can do is touch the right lower abdomen halfway between your belly button and the hip bone. So find that spot right there. And then you can have someone test you or you can do the leg test on yourself or even the sway test. So first of all, I'm touching that and seeing what happens. Okay. And uh, there I go. Now I'll show you the leg test again. You're touching your right side, so you can test the left leg, good, and then I'll touch that area and see what happens. Just point in at it, and boom, it goes. Now, what I can do then is I'm going to push my hand in and pull it up towards my left shoulder, which is closing the valve. Let's see what happens then. Ooh, it tests strong. Now that gives me an idea my valve is stuck open, which is more common. If that does correct it, then you don't have to do the next one. But if that doesn't, then what you do is you go in and push down towards your hip. And in my cat case, that makes it even worse. Now, so the correction will be to basically just hold it in the position that strengthens. So again, that makes it strong. So you can just take two hands and even just hold it. So you're now closing the valve. Now, things that cause the valve to go out, one is stress. Another, of course, is toxicity like leaky gut parasites, candida, heavy metals. Um, these are, in fact, leaky gut always has an open ileocecal valve. It just goes hand in hand. 
Now, when you have a chronic ileocecal valve, it sometimes will go from open to then finally close. It's not as common. But remember, do whatever tested strong on you and should feel good. Like if you do one way and go, oh, I feel worse, do the other way and say, ah, oh, I feel better, that's another gauge. But generally, the muscle testing will tell you which way to go. Now, after you've done that for, oh, up to two minutes, then you can rub reflexes. Now, I'll show you the reflexes. They're first the small intestine reflexes. We already did those. So that's particularly good for a closed valve, but can also be helpful for an open valve. So that's where you're going down like this. And again, look for tender spots. If you find a tender spot, stay on it longer. Now, another thing about this is when you get sleepy after eating, it often is related to the spot just to the right of your tip of your breast bone, the xiphoid process. Now that point right there happens to be for the duodenum, the first part of the uh, small intestine. And then you can also do the points for the large intestine, again, right along the thigh, which is easiest to do just if you're sitting, rubbing like that. And again, if you got a tender spot, just stay on it longer. Okay, then from there, we're gonna go to the um, liver points. So they're on the right side again, and that would be uh, between the fifth and sixth ribs where the breast meets the chest wall, or for women, yeah, just go underneath the breast and in between that rib space. Let's have you touch uh, right here, like that. I'll come around and switch places with you. Okay, so let's see how yours is doing. So she's touching halfway between the belly button and the hip bone down here and see what happens. Hold, <laughs> and there you go. So you push in there and then push in and pull up towards the left shoulder and see what happens. Strong, huh? Okay, now push the opposite way and see what happens. And bingo. So your correction will be pushing up and in. And why don't you have a seat and do that. Now, do you notice any shift? Do you feel any shift when you push up and in? Do you feel any better when you do that? I feel like a release, like it feels relaxed. I felt like I was tight earlier on my oh, stomach. And that relaxes you, Yeah. Huh? Fantastic. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. This is so key. I remember I had one client, he had chronic headaches forever. And he came to see me and he found out that ileocecal valve was related to his headaches. Oh. And so when um, he ever had a headache, he could fix that on his own. But one day he wasn't able to fix it and he came running to my office and he said, John, he said, I think it's my ileofecal valve out. <laughs> <laughs> which made him feel like fecal matter. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. You can have a seat. So then the key is when you're doing this work is you're in charge and you can like, if you feel a little, sometimes I'll even feel a pain there or nausea. And even without testing, I'll just go in and push up and in and go, God, I feel better now. So it's a great little tip for you. Okay. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great content. And be sure to check out kinesiologyinstitute.com where you can see all the courses we offer both online as well as in person to really advance your skills. Until then, God bless and be well.